Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, home of the Husky community. Hope you're doing well today. If you aren't already familiar, this is your number one stop on YouTube to get all the tips, tricks, and everything that you need to know when it comes to living with a Siberian Huskaroni pizza. So if you haven't already smashed that subscribe button, go ahead and pound it down below. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. One of the biggest reasons that people visit the 60 Formula channel is because they're getting a brand new Siberian Husky puppy, and they want to know, what are the things that I need to do to be prepared when I'm bringing a Husky home? Siberian Huskies are no joke. This is a dog breed that takes a lot of research, you gotta know exactly what you're doing when you're getting into it. So we're here to arm you with all of that knowledge and everything you need to know. So not only do you feel confident and like a pro, but you got all the secret sauce, so you're way ahead of the curve when it comes to people who don't know what they're doing. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about 10 things that you absolutely need to get if you're getting a Siberian Husky. If you wanna bring one of these Fluffaroni pizzas home, if this is the dog that is gonna beef out you, and you're like, 60 bra, I've already decided, man, I'm in my decision. A husky is the dog for me and you're not even gonna change my mind for a million dollars, dude. Well, if that's the case, this is the ultimate episode for anyone looking to get a Siberian Husky puppy. They're basically like little mogwai, like little gremlins. You know, you've seen that movie, right? Go ahead and get ready to name your Husky Gizmo because these guys are all sorts of trouble. But if you follow a certain set of rules, if you don't feed them after midnight and you make sure to keep them dry, well, by golly, they are the best dog. Am I right or am I right, dudes? Can I get a paw? Yeah! Can I get a paw, missus? Yeah, that's what's up. So come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we talk about 10 things that you absolutely need, no matter what, if you're gonna get a Siberian Husky puppy. So let's get into it, broski maloski. scooby da bop 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 ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo doo all right, we got a long list and a long night, so we better get into it and not waste any time. Am I right or am I right, Brittany mcspears Aroni? Lick the pinky. Yeah, licking the pinky means I'm right. You know, you got some cute eyeballs, dude. Those are some pretty cute eyeballs. They're like brown. Kind of remind me of chocolate chip cookies. You know what I mean? You like chocolate chip cookies, dude? <laughs> Me too. me too, they're my favorite cook. So real quick before I get into the countdown, I just wanna let you guys know, I thought out this list very carefully. I thought of everything that I needed and everything that was super useful when I was raising both of my Huskies. These are things that were essential, things that I think that you'll absolutely need if you're thinking about getting a Husky puppy too. So let's go down the list, starting with number one. The first thing you're gonna need is toys. And not just any toys, you're gonna need a multitude of different types of toys. To be exact, you're gonna need three different types of toys. You're gonna need hard toys, you're gonna need soft toys, and you're gonna need toys that are somewhere in between. Hard toys are typically used for chewing, and this is also used for biting mitigation. Using hard toys is a good way to get your husky to stop biting you. It also helps keep their teeth clean after they're done eating dinner, and just helps to sharpen their teeth and keep them healthy. Soft toys let a Siberian husky have fun. These are also toys that help your husky understand their bite threshold, and they're really important for husky puppies to have. And you're gonna wanna get toys that fall in between that. Basically, not a hard toy, Toy, but not a soft toy either. Toys that are good for tug of war, like rope. Ropes are very durable, and your husky likely won't be able to tear them apart, but they're also soft, so they're not something that's gonna make you not want to play or engage with your dog. You don't really wanna engage and play tug of war or fetch with a hard toy, like a bone or a nyla bone. So consider all these different types of toys. You're gonna wanna get each of them. They're gonna help your husky grow up and be very smart about their bite threshold and well-behaved when it comes to biting other people. All right, number two, this one's always my favorite. I love to tell people to get this because it's mega important and most people just don't even know about it. Number two is going to be baby gates. Now baby gates are extremely important because you want to limit how many rooms your Siberian Husky puppy can go into when you get them. Most people bring their Siberian Husky puppy home and they go, you may have access to the entire home. Be free and wild and do whatever you wish. But the more space your Siberian Husky puppy has to be away from you, the more likely it is that they're going to go and make an accident without your eyes on them. So to keep them in your area around you, to mitigate those accidents where they make potty on your floor, go ahead and get baby gates and set them up around your house so that they don't go into the rooms or the areas that you can't block off with a door. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, I need to get a thousand of these. You really don't. You only need a couple. And you'll find that a couple will completely block off an entire area. Now, let me give you a quick tip about baby gates. Get the baby gates 
gates that are for humans, not the baby gates that are for dogs. And here's why. Siberian Huskies are amazing jumpers. Baby gates that are for dogs are set much lower. If you get a baby gate for a human, they typically make those baby gates for humans much higher. And it's unlikely your Siberian Husky will be able to jump over a baby gate of this size. So try those out. They're the best way to keeping your Siberian Husky puppy out of the rooms and the areas that you don't want them to have access to early on in their life. And remember, as they grow up, let them have access to more rooms and more areas, and this will make growing up easier for you and your Siberian Husky. Next up, number three, you're gonna need a good leash and a good harness. Now, of course, you're gonna get a collar for your pepperoni pizza, but remember, Huskies like to pull and they like to run, so when you take them out on a walk, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But you need to make sure that you have the proper attire. So go ahead and get yourself an amazing harness and a really durable leash. Here, come here. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need. So check it out. This is a harness right here. It almost looks like a giant like parachute or something. But this harness goes around your Siberian Husky, around their shoulders. This way your Siberian Husky, when they're pulling, they pull from their shoulders and not from their neck. A collar will only make your Husky pull from their neck and it gives them the possibility of damaging their esophagus. Definitely go with a harness. You won't regret it. They're the best way to walk and keep your Siberian Husky on a leash. Now, when it comes to leashes, you wanna make sure you're getting the best of the best of the best, sir, Willie Smith style. So be sure to get yourself a durable lead. And the best best types of leashes are the ones that are, you know, basically rope. These rope leads that are super thick are very durable. And not only that, if you look at the tips of them, they have these rubber things where it covers up where the leash ties together. So it just gives it extra durability. These are perfect leashes for Huskies because they're ultra strong and ultra durable. Remember, when you have your Siberian Husky puppy, they're not going to be the strongest dog in the world. But when they grow up, they're going to get a lot stronger and you need to be prepared. So get the durable things and don't cheap out. If you get something that's less durable, you run the risk of your Siberian Husky breaking free and then you're stuck in a situation where you gotta catch him. You don't wanna have to catch a Husky. She's like, dog, you would never in your life catch me, bro. Number four, the next thing you really want to invest in for your Siberian Husky puppy is a crate. I've said this 80 jillion times on my channel, but the best way to mitigate anxiety and keep your Husky safe whenever you're not at home is get yourself a crate. Now listen to my words right here when I tell you crate training is one of the most hellish training processes to go through with a dog. But once you go through it and once you get it down pat, it is the saving grace of dog ownership. I recommend starting the crate training the day or the day after you bring your husky puppy home. You gotta make sure you stick to a schedule, but we'll get to that in just a minute because, you know, it's it's probably something that's on our list. Numero cinco. Be sure when you get a Siberian husky puppy that you get a bell and some rope. And you're probably like, what do I need a bell and some rope for? Pretend this is the door that you use to take your Siberian Husky out to use the potty every day. If you were to hang a rope and a small bell all the way to the floor from the doorknob and ring that bell every single time you take your Siberian Husky out to go potty, every single time you take them out that door, you ring that bell, guess what's gonna start happening? Your Siberian Husky's gonna start ringing that bell whenever they gotta use the number uno and the numero dos. Bell training is one of the best ways to teach your Siberian Husky how to use the restroom. If you're desperate and you're tired of cleaning up poop and pee, go ahead and put some bells on your doorknob and ring those suckers every time you take them out. I promise you within a couple weeks, your Husky's gonna be ringing those bells anytime they ever need to use the potty. Don't believe me? Try it out. Come back, comment and say, boy, you told me so. Do you want to tell them what number six is? Do you want to tell them what number six is? Yeah? You want to tell them what number six is, dude? Numero six is going to be quality treats for training. You got to train your Siberian Husky puppy, bro. So you got to make sure that you're getting that quality treat stuff. Yeah, she's like, yeah, dude, don't stiff me. Don't give me that breaded junk. Give me that high quality Turk Turk, baby. If you're not getting those quality treats for your Siberian Husky, well, you're not gonna get the tricks and the training progress that you want. Siberian Huskies really need high value treats. You gotta get their attention with good stuff. Our preferred treat, the one that we use the most, is Merrick. And Merrick is just an awesome brand because they have treats that not only both the Siberian Huskies really love, but they're really healthy for my Huskies. If you're using biscuits to do training or you're trying to use like 
like cookies with a Siberian Husky, it just ain't gonna fly. You gotta get something good. And if what you're using is not working, we recommend turkey from the deli that always does wonders. Number seven is going to be a comb or a brush. You need to brush your Siberian Husky's coat. Siberian Huskies come with two coats, count them, there's two of them. There's a short coat and an undercoat, and you gotta make sure that you're brushing all the lushy lusciousness. Now just remember Siberian Huskies blow their coat a couple times a year, which means all of that stuff ends up on the floor. And while that seems terrible, there's tons of ways to mitigate it. And one of those ways is getting a brush. So get two types of brushes. Get yourself a normal brush, one that you would like typically brush your hair with, and then get a Furminator or a fine tooth comb. This is gonna help you get all those huge clumps of the undercoat out whenever they're having a blowout. He's like, dude, we're just too hairy. But don't worry, with the hairy comes the cutie. You'll love the adorability that comes with my booty. Now I know what we all keep underneath our sink. No, it's not dead bodies. It's amazingly awesome cleaners, Windex, soft scrub, pine saw, all the good stuff is kept under your sink. But be sure that you're getting good carpet cleaner because if you have carpet in your house, it's gonna get peed and it's gonna get pooped on and there's nothing that you can do about it. There's gonna be accidents that happen no matter how diligent and amazing of a trainer you are. So be sure that if you have carpet, go and get yourself some amazing carpet cleaner. You're gonna need it. And while you're at it, get yourself a mop, that, that thing in the background, because little footprints, little poop prints, guess what, dude? It finna happen. Now this next one is not really something that you can buy at the store. It's something that you kinda gotta create yourself. And honestly, it's the most important one on this entire flipping list. You have to create a solid and consistent schedule for your Siberian Husky puppies. If you want them to be very well behaved and listen to them as often as like my Huskies listen to me, you have to be sure that you're keeping them on a strict schedule. If you wanna expedite all those things like potty training, kennel training, all the tricks, all that junk, if you want to make sure that you are ahead of the curve, you have to keep a schedule. And diverging from that schedule means that you're going to lose progress. A schedule is your best friend when it comes to owning a Siberian Husky. And most people, it's understandable, we're all so busy, it's hard to stick to schedules. Especially if you've never had a dog before and your entire life is basically changing by getting a Husky puppy. So if you stick to a schedule, if you just commit and you don't mess up on that schedule, you should be good to go. You're going to fly right through owning a a Siberian Husky puppy. And last but not least, this is numero 10, the very last one. Get yourself an incredible vacuum cleaner. If you just got a Siberian Husky puppy or you're thinking about getting one, Husky hair is your ultimate enemy. You need an army of vacuums. This entire floor was just vacuumed only moments ago. And look, dude, Flufferoni pizza. So I can't stress enough, pick a quality vacuum. You don't have to have a hundred automatic robot vacuums. You just need to have one really good one. And if you find a quality vacuum, then you'll be set to go and your home will pretty much always stay really nice and really clean. And people who visit you will be like, wait, you got a Husky? I thought they were, I thought they made things hairy. And you'll be like, yo, I went to 60 Formula School Online, learn how to get rid of that stuff right on time. All right, that's gonna be it from us today. We had an absolute blast of letting you guys know everything that you need whenever it comes to getting yourself a Siberian Husky puppy. These are the 10 essentials, baby. Be sure to go out and get all 10 of these things. And when you do, you'll be the master of owning and raising a Siberian Huskaroni pizza. Am I right or am I right, G? I know, I'm right or Roni. A San Francisco treat. If this video helped you prepare for a Husky puppy or you just enjoyed it and you thought both of the Huskies were cute, go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any more Huskaroni pizza episodes and you stay up to date with all of the free info. So until next time, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What? Yeah, that's right. Whatever we make. Peace! Scooby-Doo-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-